Hello everyone, my name is Adam Reapos Vox and welcome back to another OBS multi-platform or OBS Studio tutorial. This is a part of a bigger tutorial series that I'm running on my channel. Links to the playlist with the previous videos and upcoming videos will be in the description below, along with a lot of other helpful links. So if you have questions, looking for more information, looking for something that I talked about in the video, check the video description, you'll find a lot of information. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos, and let's get started. This video is brought to you by TunnelBear. TunnelBear is an extremely fast and cheap, or even free, way to protect and hide your data and IP address from unwanted spying. By hiding it behind a bear. TunnelBear also zaps away tracking cookies and allows you to tunnel through other countries to avoid censorship. It's fast, affordable, and even has a free option. Click the link in the description below to try it out for free today. This video is also brought to you by our contributors to our Patreon campaign. Our patrons contribute to our work via a small monthly contribution to help us build bigger and better projects, content, and collaborations, and they receive early access to our videos across all of our channels. Check the description or YouTube card now to check it out. In this video, we're going to be covering the live stream settings options. Since a lot of these settings are very similar to the previous version of OBS, I'm just focusing on this for this video. However, I will do one-off videos to go start to finish for streaming to Twitch, YouTube Gaming, and Hitbox, as well as maybe a couple offbeat platforms as well. Again, check the video playlist in the description to find out those videos. So to get to our streaming settings options, on your main OBS multi-platform window here, go click, click the settings button and then click the stream tab here. Now you have two different options. You can either stream to a custom streaming server if you have a specific platform that you're streaming to that isn't supported yet and that you have the information for, you can put your URL and stream key here as well. If you're streaming to one of these supported platforms, which are Twitch, Hitbox, YouTube, Beam.pro, Daily Motion, or Live Coding, then choose one of these options from the streaming services menu. So it's basically the exact same setup for all of these options and it's really super easy in this new platform. So for Twitch, you have Twitch <laughs> and then you choose your servers or your, yeah, your server and the closest one to me is going to be Chicago and then you put in your stream key, which for Twitch you get from twitch.tv slash your username slash dashboard slash stream key or click your username up here and go to dashboard and then click stream key and then show key. Now this is going to apply to all of the streaming platforms, but do not show anyone your stream key. If you show them your key, you must reset it and generate a new one because this key gives them the option to stream to your, your channel even without logging in. Same thing will apply to YouTube, Hitbox, etc. Do not show anyone your key and do not show it on stream, but click show key and copy it into this box here and it will replace it with dots. And then click apply and you're done. Same thing for YouTube and YouTube gaming. If you choose YouTube from our drop down menu here, then go over to the live dashboard in the live streaming menu of your YouTube creator studio here. If you don't have the live streaming option, go to your channels settings and status and features and check the live streaming options. You may have to check with your network to see what's going on with that, but click live streaming and then accept any agreements you have to listen to. And then here it will give you your stream key and in case you need to set it up with a custom URL and another software, you have that. But your stream key is all you need here. And again, hit reveal, and then it'll have hide and reset. If you show it to anyone, you need to reset it and put it back here in OBS. And then you have, you can either stream to the primary or backup, or backup server. Pretty much in all cases, you want to stream to the primary one. And then paste your key in there. Click apply, and you're ready to start streaming. Same thing with Hitbox. If we go to hitbox.tv as our option. Go to your Hitbox settings, click your little avatar up here in the corner, go to live stream settings, and then it will have your stream key. And then you can click show, and again, if you show anyone, hit generate new, but click show, copy it, paste it in this box, hit apply, you're ready to start streaming. And then you can also choose a server for Hitbox if you want to choose a closer one. For example, US East Washington is closer to me. Hit apply, you're ready to go. And then same thing for all of those. And there are more streaming services supported here. If you click show all services, there's uh, what watch people code, restream, good game, a bunch of these weird setting, you know, services that most people don't use, which is why it hides it. But if you don't use any of those services, then uncheck that and you'll only see the most common ones that you use. And hit apply. If you're streaming to a custom streaming server, 
then you just need the stream key in the URL. For example, if we go to our live dashboard for YouTube, and links to all of these dashboards will be in the description below, but keep in mind you will have to replace your username on Twitch and Hitbox. But here, for example, it'll you have your server URL, copy that into your URL box, and then copy your key into the key box. And then if it's a website that requires you to log in, use authentication, type in your username and your password, and then click apply and OK, and you're ready to start streaming to whatever service that is. Really super simple to set up in this version of OBS, and they made it so easy. And that, that also works for streaming to YouTube Gaming. And I went over how to set up YouTube Gaming in a previous OBS tutorial, and I'll cover it in a future one for OBS Multiplatform. So just keep checking links in the description below for all of these videos and you'll find lots of great stuff if you're wanting to learn more. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope this video helped you. If it did, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome tech content. Check out our Patreon campaign where you can co contribute to the channels via a monthly contribution and receive early access to all of our videos across like four different or five different channels or something and get, you know, special patron only Q&As and things like that. Also, be sure to follow us over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash eposvox. That link will be in the description below. We've been picking up more streams, and once we finish our final move here, we're moving to an apartment. We're going to be streaming a ton, so be sure to follow us over on Twitch. And feel free to request whatever game you'd like to see. If you want to see us stream a game, we may very well stream it. Be sure to request it as well. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Again, all of our videos should be up by the time you watch this in the playlist. I'm just making them public intermittently so as to not spam subscriber sub boxes. Have a great day. You've just watched another epic tech video from me, Epos Vox. Consider crushing that like button and subscribing to the channel. That way, you never miss an upload. Also, check the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and hit up our Patreon campaign for early access to videos. See you in the next Epic Tech video.